Hello, hello, hello there, guys. This is Dibalene Football Channel. Kaiser Chiefs Football Channel. You know what it is. Let us subscribe. Let us like. Let us comment. Let us share with our friends. Let's share on Facebook. Let's share on WhatsApp. Let's share on Twitter. You know, let's have a conversation. Let's have a conversation. I'm going to speak about Kaiser Chiefs versus uh, Chippa United. Kaiser Chiefs played a very good Chippa United side. That was from a draw against uh, Cape Town City. And Kaiser Chiefs was from a lose, a very terrible lose against Mamelo Sundowns. So, you know, you must read from there. I think you must read the game from that level. You're meeting, they're meeting a Kaiser Chiefs side that is supposedly not good on confidence, that is low on confidence. And that has problems, that has problems. But I think in this game, we had a lot of, a lot of improvements, a lot of improvements. So I want to speak about those improvements and then that's all. I want to speak about those. I'm going to mention one negative and five positives. But before we do that, let's check how the coach decided to line up. Let's check how the coach decided to line up. Uh, there was Agbe instead of Kune. I don't know why was Kune out because I don't think the Mamelodi Sundowns game was Kune's fault. I don't think it was Kune's fault. It had to do with the collective, with the defense and with how the team was set up. Agbe was in. Well, Agbe was our best keeper last season, so he's still fine. I'm still okay with him. And then there's Frostler. There were two major changes in the mid in the defense. There was uh, Ngezana, there was Cardoso, and there was Zul. I spoke about Ngezana last season in, in our in our previous video that now that Mato is not around, I think Ngezana should start as well, should be given a chance. Should be given a chance. Why should he be given a chance? Is that he's young, still 22, and because the team is heavily de depleted in terms of in terms of material at, at the back and now that we cannot sign players as well it, it, it we need him we need him we need him to to come in we need him because games are going to come in thick and hard they're going to come in thick and hard and if you have a natural center back in the game in the team and you have to convert Ramatham Pasela, who is a, a, a right back, into the centre back. It says a lot. It says a lot about him. It says a lot about the team. It says a lot about the confidence in the young guy. And it, it, it can kill his confidence as a young guy. So it's good that he started this game. It's good that he started this game. Zulu as well. It's good that he must get game time. Because we're going to need each and every one. And I don't think the coach, by introducing Zulu, he meant that... Uh, Sasman is no longer needed. I think it has to do with a lot of, of things, with getting the team everyone ready because we are going to need everyone. And it has to do with also the game plan because, you know, Sasman is a guy who is always ambitious, wanting to go forward, but Zulu can sit back and can, can assist in terms of defense. And he had a very decent game. The midfield also had major changes as well. I said that Bloom should, should start, should start in the midfield because we don't have a player in Katsana, we don't have a player in, in, in Akum. So Blom has to be thrown in the deep and he has to show up and he has to perform. And the coach, you know, did as we expected and as we've always been calling that Blom has to start. And Blom started together they were playing double pivot with with, with, with uh, Bakas, Karen Bakas. They had a decent game as well. We had Manyama on the right and Kosin Pilengovo on the left. And the striker went Kadoso with... Uh, with Billiard, which I think they had a decent game as well. As much as there was no goals, they had a decent game. So, what have we learned from that game? What have we learned from that game? I think there's only one negative from that game. A negative is the fact that we didn't score goals. And it's a huge concern, this thing of not scoring goals. Because this is what is happening. Kaiser Chiefs are struggling with defense. And now that the, the coach managed to fix the defense, the defense, we're expecting goals going forward. Why do we need goals? We need goals even earlier because if you don't score, if you don't score, if you, the team defends well and you don't score, what happens is that the players at the back will start losing confidence and your opponent will gain confidence as the game go, you know, progresses. And as they gain confidence, they're going to, you know, give you problems at the back. They're going to give you problems and they will now stop, stop fearing you. If you miss the goals, they'll stop fearing you and the defense will start panic. But... You know, the, 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 this thing of not scoring goals, I think it has to do also with the confidence of the players, with the fitness of the players. Uh, Castro was not so much, is not fit, doesn't look fit to me, doesn't look mobile, it doesn't look strong on his feet. So the, that was the negative. That is the negative. The negative is the fact that we didn't score goals after defending very well, after having a very fluid team, you know. But I don't think that should be a serious concern right now. That, I don't think that should be a serious concern. 
on positives, we have five positives. We have five positives. This doesn't mean the team did well, extremely well. This doesn't mean, you know, we need to be now ambitious and optimistic. The first positive is that the team played, was solid overall. It's very much important to have a solid team. From the back going forward, from the back, the middle field, and, you know, the forward. The team, a solid team is that there's a compliment. There's a compliment in defense. There's a compliment in attack. And that's what we saw in this game. In this game, it is, we, we, we didn't concede because, not because we're so good at defense or our defense is so perfect. No. That's because the team is, is very solid. When you defend, everyone is there in defense. Everyone is there to help. We saw Bakas, we saw Bloom and Bakas in terms of helping the defense. But we saw how, you know, this guy... Ngezana was so active as well. Was very good. And also, I think Cardoso was one of our best best player in the game. As much as player, you know, man of the match was Gosin de Pilengo, but Cardoso was one of, of men of the match in the game to me. We did, didn't even have, you know, uh, what you call, cheaper didn't even test our keeper because Cardoso was well organized, was playing well with 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 with, with Ngeza and the and the entire team. The entire team was very solid. That's the first positive. The second positive is the improved defense. Improved defense because we've been crying about the defense. The fact that we press very high, and we press very high defense that holds a high line. But if defense holds a high line, it means the midfield has to be able to press the, so that there's no balls that are you know chipped over the defense and now we cannot we shouldn't be defending facing our our, 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 our goal posts and that's the that's the second improvement improvement in the defense huge uh, you know improvement in terms of communication Gezana is doing the data work and you know Kados is able to cover up our right back and left back they were also not going forward a lot they were not going forward a lot yes this team looked like they were targeting that side of Zulu, but they, there was so much, you know, enough cover on Zulu such that you couldn't see that he has not been having a game time. So that's very good in terms of defense, huge, huge improvement. Look at the stats, Chipa didn't even test, uh, you know, our keeper at bay. They had zero attempts, uh, 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 you know, uh, on goal. You know, they had zero attempts on goal. They had only one attempt and it went off. They had on, only one attempt. But in terms of the you know the shots on goal, they were it's like zero. So huge improvement on defense. That's the the second one we can take. Uh, and I told you that I'm a school of I'm I'm I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fan of, of 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 the defensive work of the game. So I I I was watching and and I was very much impressed. The second thing uh, the improvement is on the midfield. Huge improvement from the game that we played first game against my respect. We lost, we almost lost the game because of the flaws and, and, and the mistakes in the midfield. The second game against my middle sundowns we were dominated, totally dominated in the middle in middle of the park. I said that the coach should now throw in Blom and Blom should play because it doesn't make sense to me. Why should we have our young players coming in to fix the mess that is caused by, 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 by senior players? First game. Blom had to come in from in, in that my respect game to fix mistakes that were caused by 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 this guy uh, Katsandi, Willard Katsandi. No, I mean Akum. And the second game against uh, Mamelodi Sundowns, he had to come in and fix the mistakes of 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 of, of, of Willard Katsandi. No, it doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't make sense. It's not right. If the guy is performing well, if he's the one who, who, who's doing well in the game. He has to be thrown in. He has to be thrown in, and he performed very well this this, this game. They were working together in a very complementary way with Bakas. So I was very much impressed. I was very much impressed. Bakas also brought some sort of experience in the game, because you have Blom, you have you have Ngobo who are inexperienced in the in the middle of the pack, and you need someone who can you know be the guy who has been playing, be the guy who instills confidence on these guys, and I was very good. And I, the only concern I had with Blom is his physicality. He's very good technical, he's very good in reading the game, but his physicality has always been a concern to me. But I think this physique we can work on. Physique is it's 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 not talent. It's something you work on, something you you know you you, you gym, you use some sort of you know ways, preparations behind the the the, the, the doors, you know, something you can work on. I I think if you can work on his physique going forward won't struggle.
going forward we won't struggle because in the pillow was was well Manyama was not bad as well. Manyama was not bad. From the game that we saw against Mamelo Sundowns to this game, there was a huge improvement in him. So the midfield was going very well. It was very fluid. Going towards, you know, the strikers, we didn't struggle to enter the box of Marisbeck United. I mean, of, 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 of Chipper United. We didn't struggle at all. That is because of the good midfield that we had. The third improvement is... Uh, the fourth, I mean, it's 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 billiard. It's Kama billiard. I spoke about Kama billiard, and I said it looks like it's gonna be the main man in the game right now. It looks like it's gonna be the main man for us, and he proved again. He proved again. This game, he had, he was the player with the lo- uh, many chances, a lot of chances for us. He's able, you know, to play and and exploit the spaces be- between the defense, and is able to play next to a, a bigger striker like like, like Castro, and. In this game against Chippa United, he was very good. He was very good. It improved a lot. He's improving each and every game. Yes, there was no goals, no goals that were coming in. But the chances that he got, the chances that he created, and he was able, he was even more involved. You know, if you check how Billiard was involved in the game last season to compare to this season, Billiard last, last, last season was very bad. He was very bad. He was playing far from the strikers. He was not taking any corner, he was not taking any free kick. But if you check this season now, he's the most involved player in the in the game. Maybe second to goes in the playing level, but I think he's the most involved. Makes the runs, holds the ball, takes the, the, the free kicks and the corners. And once a player does that, it means he's appreciated as one of the best players in the field. And therefore, there's huge responsibilities upon him and on his shoulders and 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 i appreciate what the coach is doing with him and i think he's gonna be one of our best players and key players this season so i was very impressed with kama billiard and i think goals are going to come on later his performance has to just remain where his goals are going to come later and we don't we shouldn't judge him on goals only we should judge him on his contribution on the on on the game outside the goals the last uh, uh positive the last positive is the obvious one, of course. We picked Ngozi Ndipila Ngobo. Ngozi Ndipila Ngobo had a decent game. Very good game, in fact. To say a decent game, it's, 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 it's an understatement. He had a very good game. You check his performance overall. He looks like he's a guy who's been there in the team. You check him, compare with Manyama. It looks like Ngozi Ndipila Ngobo has been there in the team for a very long time. You know, it looks like he's been there in the PSL for a very long time. And I had concerns as well with his fitness and he's just par. What he does can hold the ball. He knows when to release it. He knows when to beat the player. He knows when to play, just to play one touch. He knows when to beat a player. It's, it makes things very simple. And this is one thing that I noted in our previous, uh, I mean, video, is that I have concerns with him playing too deep. Yes, it's good in linking the ball, the, the game from the back to, 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 to the front. But when he plays too deep, he can't create. He can't create. He can't arrive in the box. But in this game, in this game, if you watched him, he was playing up front. He was playing up front. He got two chances. Got two chances, almost scored two goals. The first one, he just let the ball to pass by. The second one, he tried to control it. But because of the pressure and everything, he panicked. And I think it has to do with his him being experienced, him getting used to the game. I think... Now that he can arrive in the box, now that he can be found in those good spaces, not good positions in the game, we are going to have a very good season with him. It's going to be a very huge asset for us. So I'm very much impressed. I'm very much impressed with how the, the, the coach is using him. But I've, the only concern I have is that he must not be overused. There's players like uh, Nchangase in, in, in that team that needs to get, to, to get game time as well. So that we don't get to rely on one player for a very long time. Well, especially with where we find ourselves as Kaiser Chiefs right now, as a team, as the entire club, we need everyone to be involved. But from his performance, I'm very much happy. I'm very much happy. But what's happening is that we'll be playing Orlando Pirates come uh, Saturday. Playing Orlando Pirates come Saturday. This is what I think with the Orlando Pirates game, is that let's not read much from the game between Chippa United and the game we're going to play against Orlando Pirates. Because 
playing Orlando Pirates and playing Chippa United, there's a huge difference. There's a huge difference. We can only use the Chippa game as to say, this is a good start for us. This is a good start for the team. This is a good start and confidence for us. But let's not read much on it. It's just a Chippa game. We won 1-0. We only scored uh, an own goal. We didn't score. You know, our strikers didn't score. And game against Orlando Pirates, you cannot waste 20 chances. You cannot waste 10 chances. You can't waste 10 chances. You can't, against Orlando Pirates, you can't waste one chance. So we're going to have to fix a lot of things if we think we're going to compete against Orlando Pirates. That's why I'm not too optimistic about the game. I'm not too ambitious about the game. I can't say we're going to dominate like we dominated cheaper. No, it's not going to happen. Orlando Pirates is a very huge team, well-resourced with very fast players and a very good coach. So I think we can use this game as some sort of an experience. But I don't want to see a thing where a coach now changes the, 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 the entire team or the structure of the team simply because we're playing Orlando Pirates. Now players that were not performing, players like Parker, players like uh, Kazande, now they must be brought back because we're playing Orlando Pirates. No, that shouldn't happen. That shouldn't happen. We should stick to the guys and show these guys confidence. That's one thing that I've been saying. Show confidence on the guys that are there. And then play the other guys coming into the game from the bench. Give them confidence as well and so that you can get the entire team active. But good start for us. A very good start. A very good recovery uh, from the from, from the Mamelodi Sundowns game. And also a very good response from the CAS report that I'm going to speak about later on. Otherwise, from me, let us share. Let us like. Let us comment. Uh, let us have a very nice one. Thank you very much.